Okay. All right. Screen. We're going zero <laughs> to want. sixty. Yeah, I don't want to. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh! oh, oh. 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 Whoa! Maybe do a little highway entrance. Oh yeah. Tesla. I think I heard a little twins. scream. Like the, <laughs> yeah, for the, sure. Like the power of the Tesla. So how does it feel though? Like does it feel stable when you're doing? I mean, you have a Forerunner, so yeah. you know what like large truck instability can feel yeah. like at high speed. And <laughs> yep. so like, how do you compare those two? It feels very honestly, and like being completely frank, like it feels uh -huh. very stable. Yeah. I mean, we do that day in and day out, and every time I don't feel like unsafe or worried. Or so, so I'll quiet. get in it's that one. It's so quiet in here. I mean, that's the that's the big part about this that's missing. Like, yeah, is that like you know, like a normal truck is just loud the whole time, and like you can just hear nature. Yeah, I love that part. It's amazing. Like you're talking about the revving of the engine. Yeah, you don't things? hear it. Like in my car, like you 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 hear the engine. It's a V8 sitting. Yeah. You're sitting on top of a V8, and here is this like. You're silent, and you can really just hear what's happening outside. The wind, I wonder birds. If, wonder if you can see more uh, animals on safari if you use a truck like this. Yeah, that's. I've actually heard that, and I had some little girls in Sonoma who were interested in bird watching, and so they were really keen on knowing like the noise level of the vehicle, which I thought I never had thought about it because I'm not yeah. a bird watcher. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, this is beautiful here. So this we'll is come down very about... steep. Very yeah, nice. you guys oh are really God. challenging this thing. I like it. <laughs> yeah. So we're at 13, so not even max height. Exactly. And then I'm going to put us into a hill hold here. So if you go all the way down on the brake, that'll engage a hold. So okay. you can go footless there. Okay. And you can do this going up, going down, any surfaces. Disengage, just tap on the accelerator. Yeah, when we made this course, we wanted to really push the vehicle. Yeah. Like, we know many people won't be doing this on a daily drive, but you could. Yeah. And that's the Clearly beauty of it. That was, that was relatively fast, too, and it's still very, very smooth, and you don't get that. You know, like, the suspension is super quiet. Yeah. The aftermarket suspensions can be quite loud and squeaky at times. Mm -hmm. This is a great experience, honestly. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like it. So after we get back and Tom puts down his money, how <laughs> long is it going to take for him to get his car? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so right now we are de currently delivering vehicles, but I can't give any information on the <laughs> delivery timing. Are you guys doing like what a lot of companies do, like depending on where you are? Are you getting, are they doing Maybe you can't comment on that, but for a long time, Tesla was delivering to Los Angeles or to California first. Like, so if you were closer to the factory, you could get your car. Received. Yeah, that's a great question. So we are delivering all over the country right now. Our factory is located in Normal, Illinois, but we are currently delivering all over the country. So kind of, but not really. <laughs> it's not like no, no yeah. advances. If I lived in Normal, maybe. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, like the geographical location isn't super uh, prevalent right now in our delivery process. It's so quiet. Tom's going to start crying. It's so, <laughs> it's so really great. Let me get a little more quiet and turn those off. Even my air conditioner is 15 times louder than yeah. that, honestly. So. This air conditioning it's system so always impresses me. Like, it's it pumps out and it is yeah. quiet. Like, it's very quiet. I have a Toyota 4Runner V8 2006. Okay. Oh, so we have a very similar car. Yeah. My, my GX is 03 and okay. it's a V8. Exactly. So it's the same V8. It's I know when you were saying that, I was like, I know exactly what he's talking <laughs> like, about. I know that engine. And when I, I mean, my vehicle first couldn't do this and it'd be so loud. I mean, so, uh, I turn it on, it's like, <laughs> Your vehicle could do this. 
<laughs> you think? Yeah, for sure. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'd be nervous. <laughs> it's stock runner. It's stock, yeah. Yeah, I could do it. I mean, it would have to, you wouldn't be able to do it quite as fast, I think, in certain areas, but yeah. you could definitely, you know, you could definitely do that. But it definitely <sighs> wouldn't be as quiet because that V8 is loud. Yes, powerful, AC, but loud. But, <laughs> You'll get to see up here our speed too, um, zero to 60. You guys feeling good still? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm feeling a bit $70,000 poor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but think what you could get for your wine. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a seller's market. Mm -hmm. 